Meet John. He's registering his chemicals under the European Chemicals Regulation, REACH. He has now made his way to the fourth phase for successful registration, assessing hazards and risks. Some hard work is ahead of you, John. This fourth phase is one of the most important and time-consuming ones. First, John and his co-registrants need to gather data on their substance properties in order to define the possible hazards it can cause. Second, they need to know how their substance is used. Their customers' industry associations are a good place to start. Here's a tip. Gather all this information in parallel to be able to register on time. From the hazards and uses, John and his co-registrants can identify whether risks are caused by using their substance. And they can recommend what measures to take to still be able to use the substance safely. John, the information you need depends on your tonnage and your uses. ECHA has compiled the most relevant information on what to consider in its guide for small company managers. You and your co-registrants may already have some of the information. So, you need to check the quality of what you have and compare it with what you need to submit. Then, you need to decide together which testing you may have to do, considering all the possible alternatives before testing on animals. You should also consult ECHA's guide on how to use alternatives to animal testing. The consultant you hired earlier can help you here too. And to save time and costs, you should order all tests at the same time as a package. Once John and his co-registrants have all the information needed for registration, they need to agree on the classification and labeling of their substance. This ensures that everyone will use it safely. What next? Well, you need to include all that information in your registration dossier. More about that in the next step.